Okay, now we are ready to set up our site definitions here in Dreamweaver. Once again, we've opened Dreamweaver. We've previously copied our web address into our computer memory and we are ready to go. As I'd said earlier, you could just simply create a new HTML file and start creating right away, but we want Dreamweaver to help us in terms of creating a path so that we can upload our data easily and let Dreamweaver also help us manage that data fairly easily. So what we're going to do is now we're going to come over here. Notice here that there's this little yellow icon and that we're on the desktop. All of this is going to change once we've made a, a connection out to Dreamweaver. So mentally keep in mind that you know what this looks like right here. Over here I'm going to go ahead and click on manage sites and that's going to enable me to go ahead and create a new site you probably don't have anything listed here and that's fine go ahead and click on the word new and site and notice here that once this comes up there's a basic tab and there's an advanced tab and I'm going to be working directly off of the advanced area because there are certain things that I'm going to need to check off here now in terms of your site name your instructor will give this to you if you are in the MSN program, you would obviously type in MSN, but I'm going to give a sample of the MSCT. I'm going to type in the phrase MSCT overall. Notice that it's caps, it's spaced. It doesn't have to be any particularly confined uh, naming convention here. The local root folder is where I want to store these files. Now, know that we are going to be bringing files back and forth between school and home. So what we're telling Dreamweaver here is where are we going to find those files every time it opens. And we do want to point it to our thumb drives so that it knows to look to that thumb drive folder to get the latest and greatest as well as to write changes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the little yellow icon next to it. And my thumb drive is plugged into my computer. So I'm going to click on computer and my thumb drive is currently the drive H. I'm going to double click on that. I have to do it a little bit faster. And here is my name folder. Now I do want to double click into my name folder because I want my site definitions or my my version of Dreamweaver to look inside my name folder and I want it only in my name folder. I don't want it to look in my brains or any other folder and that's because these site definitions are going to be appropriate for all of your MSCT work. So you don't want it exclusive to the brains. Once I'm in here and I can confirm that this is my name folder, I'm going to go ahead and click on select. Now my particular computer has a little quirk where I actually have to type in that Web, um, that path address. So there it is. Your computer should have come up with that automatically. The HTTP address, if you keep in mind or remember before, we copied this address and we could certainly type it from here to here, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to do that considering we've copied it into memory. I first want to erase the HTTP because I don't want to duplicate it. I'm going to right click and paste and that puts the entire address in there. The next thing I'm going to do is click on remote info and Dreamweaver is asking me what method am I going to be able to access the server. I'm going to down click here and choose FTP. FTP is a very common way of accessing server. It stands for file transfer protocol. Now the host, if you rem remember from earlier, this front part of this address is the host and the back part of that is your, um, or excuse me, are your folders or directories. Once again though, instead of hand typing it, knowing that I've got that sitting in memory, I'm going to right click and paste. Now here's the trick, I want to get rid of everything but the host name. And if I mess up, I just erase the whole thing and paste and start over again. So that's my host name. And once again, I'm going to do this in the host directory. And once again, I want to, excuse me, this time I want to get rid of everything in terms of the host and leave simply just the directory information. Next, I want to type in my username. And your username is available to you from your instructor in class. 
Now once I've typed in a username and password, notice that it automatically checks off to save and that's appropriate. I'm going to go ahead and click on this Use Passive FTP just to make sure it gets through some security pieces. And I'm going to click on Test. And if I'm successful, this is a message that should come back, Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. Now if anything went wrong, I would get a message saying that it could not connect. I would then have to go back to this screen and connect or correct, excuse me, anything that was wrong. These are the things that you have to have correct before you could move forward on this. At this point, I know everything's correct. I've tested it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, notice here that it says MSET overall. And before I move forward, I want to go ahead and export this really quickly so that I have it saved into my thumb drive. I don't have to then retype this later on. I'm going to click on export. The first option is appropriate. I'm going to click OK. Now I've already previously made a folder here called Site Definitions, but if I hadn't, all I would have to do is create the new folder and create the fo Site Definitions folder. I'm going to double click and go into this Site Definitions folder. And in fact, I've already given myself a, a site definition in here earlier. I'm going to leave the name alone as long as it's, as it's in my site definition folder. I don't want to type, excuse me, I don't want to change the type. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. And in my case, I'm going to replace it. In your case, you won't have to replace it. Now, before I go further, take a look over here. Notice that what we're seeing here is the desktop and these yellow icons. But as soon as I click on Done, it now changes to your site name as well as green icons, green symbolizing go or good, that you are ready to go for your development process. Next we are going to learn how to grab a template from offline and edit that template, set it up here in Dreamweaver and begin to upload it to the server so we can get into